Ryan here playing Farming Simulator 19 on Autumn Oaks, and we're just doing a little uh, yard mowing here at the moment, although we seem to have some slight turning issues here with this uh, mower. There we go. I don't know if the game is quite set up here. This mod is quite set up to be a zero turn. It kind of sort of works, kind of sort of doesn't. But yes, we got the uh, John Deere. Oh, what size is this, is this again? Uh, John Deere 648R. John Deere 648R, so that's probably a 48-inch deck on here. Not a very big uh, deck on here, but stand on lawnmower here. As you folks have uh, maybe noticed in the series here, we've uh, mowed this lawn here a couple of times. Uh, last time, I believe, was the Ellis uh, Chalmers. I don't remember if we used... We might have done that with a case, too. And then, of course, we got that much larger uh, brush hog there as well that we mowed the other side with. Just a little bit of lawn mowing here to start this episode. Never did do anything with the uh, grass that's on in there. That, of course, was left by the Alice uh, Chalmers. Probably should, like, uh, run the cultivator across this or something like that. I, I don't know. That would, uh, that should take care of the uh, grass. And, uh, before anyone asks, I, I should mention I have no idea where this came from here, by the way. Uh, this is another one of those mods I believe Bull sent me. Actually, oh uh, boy, he might have actually sent me the link where it came from. I don't remember now again. Uh, yeah, don't remember where this came from, everyone. So, yeah, for anyone that asks, not entirely sure. It has some problems turning, though. It doesn't like to turn and back up if the wheels aren't. Come on. Okay, fine. Can we go around? Oh, we can go around then. That'll work, too. Okay. Oh, whoa. Okay, well, I guess we're going this way. Sure, we'll go this way. You know, usually the uh, idea with these uh, zero turns is that you can uh, pivot on a dime there, but uh, like I said, that might be a little bit problematic. I know that might be more of a farming simulator problem, too, maybe than the mods problem, but... We'll see if we can just uh, go around and around, then. And yes, it is kind of annoying that the uh, like the weedy stuff there doesn't uh, mow. Uh, really, I don't know why. I always thought that was kind of odd. Same thing like those uh, bushes, everyone. If you uh, mow over, you know those bushes in the game here. Yeah, they don't mow either. Uh, anyway, for what we're actually going to be getting to here this episode, hopefully we're going to get some uh, corn uh, chopping. Since last episode, fast forward a time through the night here. Uh, we're now into the next day, which reminds me we've got weeds that need to be sprayed as well, so we should probably get on that. But, uh, yes, hopefully we'll get some corn chopping here as well. We'll get the uh, chopper fired back up. Uh, see once if it has any uh, paint left on it or not. Uh, I think the last I left it, I don't think it did. Oh, yes, the John Deere 8020. Yeah, for those of you following uh, the live streams there on the modding, uh, it is still a work in progress. Actually, I do have the updated version in here, so that is... Uh, yeah, remind me, everyone. We'll, we'll wander past it here in a minute, or try to remember to, anyway. And you folks can uh, see the progress on it. it. By no means is it finished, everyone. It is very, very far from finished. So, uh, especially in its current stage, uh, it's going to need some help with the uh, tires, everyone. And that's something i got to debate on how I'm going to accomplish that. Uh, I'd like to uh, dynamically load them, but that uh, poses the uh, challenge of the rims, everyone, because the rims on there are um, different. Now, I could just use in-game rims. That might be an option, but would probably be quite right. And unfortunately, I'm not aware. I'm not, actually, you know what? I should check that. I wonder if the game does actually have some rims that might be kind of right. Uh, at least I'm assuming those are the right rims on that tractor one. Uh, it looks like with 8020, it has like final drives on the end or by the tire there. Whereas, you know, most tractor tires, everyone, at least as far as I know anyway, you know, it's just a straight axle out to the tire. There's no final drives typically. But uh, the 8020 there is different. It looks like there's a final drive there. And uh, there are some tractors I know that have that, especially some of the older, like, Big Buds and stuff like that. But I was actually looking, everyone. I don't know. Uh, let's see what's here. Big Buds. Uh, 
And that actually might be kind of a setup as the right type of tire. Have to maybe look and see what's what kind of tire. Can we go to singles? Yes, we can. So that might not be exactly right of them, but just looking at this, this actually might be an option for that tractor. I'll have to look and see what's what the big uh, bud here uses. Uh, I was looking at the 450. The 450 doesn't appear to have final. Well, no, actually, those might be final drives. Uh, just a little bit different style, I guess. But yeah, just ideas of something we need to look into yet there, I guess you could say. Anyway, we're going to finish mowing this here real quick a minute. Again, for just uh, for something uh, different. This mower is uh, quite uh, quick. 12 miles at 14 mile an hour. That's uh oh. I know you can move right along with these mowers, that one, but uh, I don't know if you can move quite that fast. Although I, I shouldn't maybe say that, everyone. Uh, at least uh, where I work, you know, obviously the lawn is professionally mowed, and and you see them uh, fellows uh, on the mowers there. They, uh, I don't know how fast they're going, everyone, but uh, they're moving. I do mean they're moving. So maybe 14 isn't too far from unreasonable. Definitely looks like that job would be kind of hard on, you know, like the knees and the joints that are bouncing around behind that mower. And at least on the, you know, a lot of the uh, professional mowers, everyone, it seems like a lot of times, yeah, some of them you can sit down on, but a lot of times you stand up behind them like you do with this one here. A little more of a, I don't know, I guess professional type mower, I guess. Doesn't seem like my idea of a good time where you have to uh, stand up on the mower all the time. Seems like uh, sitting down would be a little more preferred, but... Okay, no, yeah, there it is. No lights on this uh, particular mower here, by the way. It's a little bit uh, dark in the shadows here. around the tree, run into the tree, check. Get a little bit down here, and I think we'll call it good. Call it good. What, I can't mow the road? Oh, come on now. Pretty sure this will mow asphalt just fine. Okay, so other than them uh, bloody little weeds there, everyone, I think we got everything uh, mowed. Uh, yes, I could if I took the time here. Whoa, hang on, door. Uh, replace that with actual grass. Uh, that would probably work better. Uh, you know what? Why, why don't we do that, everyone? We, we got the time, right? Start landscaping. Let's, uh, where's them weeds? We, I'll show you how we take care of them weeds. Whoa. Oh, why is it so leggy like that? Oh, I can't? Really? Oh, well, okay, never mind, everyone. I guess we won't. Uh, so much for that. Okay, on to, uh, on to real farming here, then. That's a pretty good sound. Files on it, I'll have to say. And we'll just uh, park that next to the other one here. Okay, so, uh, yes, uh, we're still working on uh, plowing this field here, by the way. Got the, oh, hello, map, uh, that uh, moves position. Got the uh, Ford 8000 on the job there. Making uh, progress slow. Oh, I thought he was on the other end. Oh, okay, never mind, everyone. I thought he was almost done. He's been, uh, been working on this uh, quite a while, I thought, but I guess not. Okay, well, we'll... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll let him uh, continue here and uh, let him uh, do his thing. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started here. First off, we better start spraying our weeds here. First time, we better get that uh, underway before I forget. Oh, hello. Uh, boom, sticking through the back of the wall. Interesting. Guess I had it backed in a little far. No collision on them, so, yeah. Uh, and yes, corn should be ready to harvest here. The entire field is in the ready stage. 
Uh, it would have been nice if we could maybe try to harvest it or chop it when it was green, but that just, yeah, the way that field was ripe and everyone just wasn't going to happen, so. Okay, let's get course play loaded up here. Course play field two. Give me that one right there. First waypoint. And drive the course. Okay, we'll call that good. Yep, that takes care of that. That'll take care of those uh, weeds. And we got weeds on the backfield here as well, everyone. We got to take care of that as well. So, okay, let's get the chopper fired up here. Let's see what's Where did I leave the chopper? That's a good question. Where is the, uh, where's the chopper? Oh, you know what? Uh, I bet you we have horses ready to sell here as well, everyone. Let's see what's your horses. Yes, the horses are ready to be sold. Well, you know what? Let's, uh, let's do that here a minute. Uh, where do we sell these horses again? Was that... Where was the icon for that? There it is right there. Cool. $50,000 a piece of We're just going to go ahead and uh, sell those. I don't see a reason keeping them. Confirm. Cool. $400,000. Wow. We made some money there. Uh, don't plan to rebuy them here again, everyone, because uh, we're getting close to wrapping up this series, so we'll just uh, we'll just leave it at that. Uh, how are the rest of the animals looking? Oh, I need to clean them. I need to clean them. Uh, you're right. We'll do that. Sometime. Sometime. I think I mentioned that a couple episodes back. I need to clean them and it never happened. Oops, sorry about that, animals. Uh, end up getting PETA or something called on us here. Not seeing one. So there's the toe behind chopper. I didn't get rid of the chopper, did I? I don't think so. I think I have it yet. There's the header. Because we were mowing. I didn't leave it out in the field yet, did I? thought I brought it back. No, don't see it out there. Oh, you know what? I know where we left it, everyone. Yes, I know where we left it. Uh, we left it in the back in the one barn here that does not have a level floor. Yep, doesn't have a level floor. Must uh, maybe contribute to all the paint running off or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the, don't worry, everyone. This is still on my list of things I'd like to uh, fix yet. See if we can throw a better uh, dirt wear texture on it so it doesn't do this as badly. Don't quite get why uh, mod authors do this, everyone, because it's you can see it right in the editor, everyone. It's not like you even have to load this in the game to realize this is a problem. It, it shows you right in the editor what the wear and dirt's going to look like, so... And, and the default for that is to be on, by the way. So uh, you may be thinking, well, maybe the mod author has to select something for that. No, it, the default's on. So you can see by default what it's going to look like with dirt and wear. And this, if you ask me, looks not too good. All oh, right, we're going to have to uh, hire a worker here too, aren't we? Right, right. Actually, you know what? Maybe everyone, I'll try to maybe get course play to do this here. And I know, yes, it's not going to work, but let's maybe get course play to do a headland. Just so we got like one headland along the field. That'd be ideal if you ask me. So, field one. I mean, her harvest. I think that was the right one. Yes, nine meter harvest. Okay. Let's go get our uh, truck here a minute. Oh, let's see what's on the truck. Uh, there it is back here yet. Of course, I got it in uh, red and white. Kind of the uh, default colors there for the Meyer boxes as far as I know. Though I have to say, everyone, uh, again, if you get this mod, it does look particularly good in the green and yellow. The John Deere green, John Deere yellow there, of course. Ooh, a little bouncy there. Basically, what I'm going to try to do here, everyone, I'm going to hit the drive on the course play driver quick as quick as I can hop in this truck. Whoops. Try not to run into him. And uh, we'll try our best to follow the chopper here, and hopefully that'll all uh, work out uh, somewhat well, hopefully. 
Again, took us uh, quite a while there to uh, fill this truck here before, but that was grass. Pretty sure here with the corn, we should be fully fertilized, right? Yep, fully fertilized. Should be ready to go there. First waypoint, drive course. Um, okay then. Oh, there he goes. I thought he was going to have another problem, but nope. Oh, wait, he's stopping this time. Whoa, say what? Say what? Uh, I remember last time, everyone, he just kept on driving. He didn't, uh, he didn't stop. That's weird. Well, that's cool. Okay, one last thing to look at with this uh, particular chopper, everyone. I'm not sure how that solved that. Oh, wouldn't be a problem with the truck, was it? One thing I'm noticing here, by the way, everyone, where the uh, chopper is pointing and where the chaff is actually going seems to be a little bit different. Oh, well, we do have enough money, everyone. We should maybe just, like, try uh, a different chopper here just to see once if that works a little bit better. It's working pretty good, though. Uh, I'm definitely happy with the fact that the chopper appears to be stopping now. Because, again, I, I did try setting this up with course play before. I wonder if I remember correctly. That was the GMC truck. And the chopper just drove without the truck next to it. And it was just, you know, chopping the corn and wasting it. Which uh, totally not cool, if you ask me. Well, that was something we didn't get to work either, was it? We didn't actually ever get course play to actually run the uh, truck either. Maybe we'll have to try that with this uh, this uh, truck here, just seeing if uh, course play will work with this or not. Uh, oh, I wonder if that needs repair. I, mean, I better check that. Seems like we're going a little slow here for some reason. I've got the speed, crew, uh, speed control set on 6. We're definitely overtaking that quite a bit, quite a bit too quickly, if you ask me. Let me stop here real quick. Do you need repair? Uh, corn headers 42%. Let's, yeah, let's see if we can give him some repair here a minute. Chopper looks like it's pretty good, even though it's got no paint on it. Oh, let's see. So there's the uh, there's the chopper. Uh, yeah, no, can't repair that yet. That kind of makes sense. How about the header? Yes, yeah, so there we go. Okay, let's see if that uh, makes you maintain a little bit more consistent speed here. And, of course, we're almost half full here already as well. So, again, uh, definitely a lot more yield on the corn here than the grass. Uh, if you remember, we shot pretty much the entire episode there. Uh, what was it? Two or three episodes back, everyone, just to fill this, uh, you know, the grass. Whereas now, yeah, we're not even around the field once yet, and we're already half full. Pretty sure we'll probably be full by the time we make it around this field, I'm thinking. Technically, at this point, we've already gone only gone around the one side of the field. You know, this one side kind of loops around the farm. Oh, it's definitely the longer side, but we're now on to the second side. 
Anyway, we'll uh, see if we can read a few uh, comments here in a moment. For him to load up and, you know, yeah, we're definitely uh, going way faster in the chopper here. What is up with that? Also seems to be very picky on the distance there. I'm not sure what's up with that either. Uh, let's see what's here. Uh, Rob was saying, uh, agree on using the three-point hitch from the 4020 uh, since it actually seems to work well with all the implements. That is true. The 4020 is a pretty reliable three-point hitch, it seems like, for working. Uh, again, if you folks have watched the series, you'll know we've had some troubles with three-point hitches on various pieces of equipment. Namely, they don't swivel properly for some reason. I'm not sure what's up with that, but kind of a weird issue there. Uh, Outdoor Farmer was also saying I would use the 4020 three-point hitch for the older tractors. It's not quite right, but I'm... But in Farming Simulator, there isn't many options for three-point hitches. And yeah, there's definitely not many three-point hitch hitches. Hitches that are going to be the right for those tractors. Not unless you like to take the time to actually 3D model some. Or you can find some that are already done. Which, uh, that might be harder than it sounds. I'm not sure. But, uh, and of course, uh, by the way, these comments, everyone, for those of you who didn't catch it here a couple episodes back, I was mentioning, uh, maybe seeing if I can take the three-point hitch off of one of the tractors, possibly like the 4020, and putting it on the 20 and 30 series. Why are we going so slow here? This uh, does not seem right. I got it set to four miles an hour now, everyone. Maybe all that uh, paint that's stripped, them off, stripped off of it there isn't allowing it to go faster. Uh, Mitchell's mind was saying I'll have to see that 80-20 before I download that. Ooh, that's right, everyone. Yep, yep. Let's take a real quick break here for the chopping. Before I forget, I said I was going to show you folks the 80-20. Okay, everyone. So, uh, like I said, it's not finished yet, but here it is. This is what it looks like uh, so far. Again, there are multiple rims on here. Uh, you got the original. This is what the original rim looks like, and this, everyone, is what uh, is kind of giving us a little bit of tr or giving me a little bit of trouble because I don't know that there's any rims like this in the game. So... And I'm just assuming these are the proper rims for this tractor. Uh, maybe I have to go look at some pictures just to make sure. Obviously, everyone, if you're going to use in-game tires, it's really easy. You can use uh, in-game tires, which includes a rim. A rim that actually fits the tire. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, if you watch the uh, live stream there on these tires, I've switched tires. I'm now using a TM Trelleborg 1000, and it is a 650, I think. This seems to be the appropriate t size tire uh, on a 34-inch rim as opposed to a 38-inch rim, even though that's what it was listed in the mod. Looks like the uh, mod author just had them resized, maybe? I, I don't know. Don't know. Don't know what the original mod author done, everyone. All I can say is that mod was a mess. Still is yet. I don't have everything cleaned out of it yet, but there's a lot more cleaning that has to be done. Yeah, it doesn't seem to like it if you get a little bit too far away, does it? Uh, Caleb was saying Chippewa has real corn and soybean textures. Hey, that'll be pretty cool. I said before, everyone, I'm never really a fan. Actually, it actually looks right for this, everyone, because we're chopping the corn. But when we're uh, shelling the corn, the left behind texture, everyone, just does not look right. And, yeah, I've commented on that before. Everyone, you, if you watch for a while, you know that. Uh, I always like to use, like, Iowa as an example map, even though I don't know if Iowa is out for 19 here or not. But uh, at least in previous versions there, that was always my, like, my example map for this is what corn should look like uh, after it's being shelled. This is what it look, should more or less look like after being chopped. Because uh, when you chop corn, everyone, you take everything. The entire corn plant, ear of corn, uh, leaves, everything, unless it somehow manages to escape, goes into that chopper and gets ran through the chopper. Whereas when you shell corn, everyone, uh, all but the kernels of corn are left behind. Yeah, 
Yeah, it seems a little glitchy. Huh? It's, it's uh, almost full here, doesn't it? 97%. Now, uh, uh, yeah, 100%. 125,000 liters. This, of course, is the uh, Jeffrey OP version here, by the way. Uh, 13 Dixie Fried was saying, I think uh, DJ Goham uh, has been doing videos on Lone Oaks. I think he's uh, beta testing for it. Ah, cool, cool. And of course, uh, the official version, if I understand it right from you folks' comments, the official version of Lone Oaks is supposed to be uh, released here uh, once it passes all the uh, testing. And uh, the official version that I do believe is from Oxygen David. Bullet Bill was the original mod author back in 17. Uh, this time around, Oxygen David is doing the uh, conversion here to 19. He is the one that I believe is releasing it. Uh, Bullet Bill, I guess, I believe said he wasn't going to. Uh, Why? I was saying love the videos. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Delco was saying hello. Black Diamond Farming was saying cool video. And how did you get the farm logos on your truck? Uh, the logos were put on there by the uh, mod author. In this case, uh, Nolan is the mod author of those. And we go over to the uh, shop here. Eh, I guess that's close enough. Uh, if we go over to the shop here, everyone, we, of course, got the uh, the Chevys. Uh, you know, typically where you'd find a Chevys, I guess. You know, the ones up on the lift all jacked up. And then, of course, the other one is uh, sitting here. Uh, Bull's the mod author of those. And, uh, yeah, that's... Uh, He's the one that put the logos on here. It looks a little flat there, doesn't it? I wonder if that might just because it's sitting in the floor of the shop. Probably why. Okay, back to the chopper here for another load then. Of course, everyone, now that this is uh, somewhat working here, too, I'm curious to see if uh, we can actually get course play to work properly for unloading the chopper as well. curious though as to why we're going so slow like I said even four mile an hour everyone and we're pretty much passing the chopper here at times so I don't know why that is I don't remember having that problem on the hired worker because I think the hired worker kept pretty steady uh, six miles per hour if I remember correctly because again course play didn't work so I ended up chopping most of this field here in fact all of this field here myself well actually almost I guess we did have the tow behind chopper do a little bit Let's see, Niles will say in the direct cutter header you're using on the forage harvester looks appropriate. I don't know, for some reason, I'm going to just, uh, it looks big on the, at least this chopper anyway. I don't know why that is. It just, uh, to me, everyone looks big. Looks oversized. But, uh, yeah, per Niles there, I guess it is the right size. Oh, that's, that's definitely not pointing in the right direction anymore. Okay. Still filling the truck, I guess. Yeah, if you notice, though, everyone, the, uh, the pipe is pointing, like, straight down, but the chopper, the stream from the chopper is still pointing out. So I don't know if, uh, I'm not, I'm not sure what's up with that. I've been thinking should maybe like get an in-game chopper just to try and see what's what happens here. 
Uh, Legendary Tater was saying, trust me when I say 9 miles per hour is high speed spraying. Uh, you would break your back in that uh, sprayer. Uh, yes, that is probably true there, that John Deere 6000. You know, just uh, 9 miles per hour for any modern self-propelled sprayer. Kind of slow. I guess, you know, it depends on the field conditions, of course, but... Uh, let's see, Jim was saying, great video as always. Thank you very much for that. I uh, was saying I highly recommend not doing anything with the bootlegged version of Lone Oaks for 19. Uh, last I heard, Bullet Bill is seeking a lawsuit against the person who converted it to 19 without his permission. Uh, and, of course, uh, Jim went on to say there is an official version that's being worked on now as well. Kind of mentioned that a moment ago. And then he was also saying other great maps. Uh, uh, again, these are by, I guess, Kaz? Kaz Modding, I think? I, I haven't heard that one before. But uh, like I said, a couple of you folks have mentioned Kaz, uh, Kaz maps. So we got Rustic Acres, Old Timers, and... Oh, I get, um... Oh, Old Country Life. Oh, that one, he's working on Old Country Life, so that one has not been released yet. So, okay, we got Rustic Acres and Old Timer Farm. I did look at the Old Timer Farm. I do remember that one. Uh, I, I don't know. Just didn't, wasn't feeling it, if you know what I mean, everyone. Looking at the map, just didn't, I don't know. Something didn't quite feel right for it. Not that it was a bad-looking map by any means or anything like that. Uh, mostly, I think that was the one that had square fields, if I remember correctly. Also, one of them was 4X. At least that's what it said in the title, anyway. Might have been the old timer one. I'm not sure. I don't remember which one. And I don't remember looking at a rustic acres. I do remember looking at a rusty. Uh, it was a rusty something. I don't know if that's the same one or what, but... Yeah, still looking at maps here, everyone. Like I said, I'll probably make the uh, decision this weekend. There'll be a couple more episodes on this map, and then uh, we'll be wrapping it up. Again, I was kind of planning on wrapping it up last weekend, everyone. But uh, we had this truck came out, and then there's just some other mods here I wanted to test out as well, so... Oh, and just to uh, maybe real quick here address uh, Bullet Bill's whining about uh, someone else converting the map here. Uh, if I read the uh, legal mumbo-jumbo correctly, everyone, yeah, good luck doing so, right? But if I, uh, if I read it correctly, I don't believe uh, Bullet Bill has any legs to uh, stand on when it comes to that. Uh, pretty much uh, the modding community can do with whatever they want with the mods out there, so... Yeah, if someone wants to steal a mod and do that, they, they got nothing. You, you can do that. I'm not saying eth ethically it's right, everyone. Uh, I don't necessarily agree with that, ethically speaking, but uh, it's not exactly a per giant's terms wrong either that I know of, at least if I read it correctly. Uh, maybe you folks with more uh, legal mumbo-jumbo understanding can uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but... Uh, Pretty much when it comes to the uh, mods here, uh, Giants, as far as I know, pretty much claims, or sort of claims, ownership of any mod released. Uh, you know, especially probably in the case of a map, everyone, because a map, uh, I doubt there's probably anything in the map Bullet Bill created, I doubt. Uh, it's, you know, just his creation of putting stuff in certain places, shall we say. Anyway, everyone, looking at the time here. Wow, we're really looking at the time here. It's time to wrap it up already, isn't it? Wow, having too much fun uh, chopping corn here. Oh, that works. Oh, yeah, that is not working, is it? I just seen the fill level is not going up. He's also going faster now, too, isn't he? But, yeah, on that note, everyone. Oh, reminder here, too, by the way. Uh, I'll mention this here real quick. Uh, for anyone that would like to uh, join us on the multiplayer servers, you're welcome to do so. That information is down below in the uh, description. Again, we ask that you please join us on the RDL and TeamSpeak server. That information, again, down below. 
And if you don't have TeamSpeak, TeamSpeak is free to download. A microphone is not required. And then uh, once you're on TeamSpeak, that's where we have the download links for the mods for the servers, by the way. So to uh, join the servers, download links are in TeamSpeak. And again, anyone's welcome to join as long as you can uh, play nicely and follow the rules. And also, if you want to see the uh, multiplayer videos, everyone, I am live streaming those over on Twitch. So again, over on Twitch, if you want to watch the multiplayer live streams there. Uh, again, I'm going to do occasionally upload a couple of them to uh, YouTube, not all of them. Uh, although for the uh, modding ones, everyone, I'm trying to remember to make sure to upload those to YouTube as much as possible. But uh, anyway, on that note, everyone, thanks for watching. Comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. And thanks for watching, and until next time.